Man United scoring three goals. Haven't seen that in a while. Haven't seen that since the first day of the season. Only the second time in the last 21 games United have scored more than one goal in a game. And it was 3-1 there against Norwich, but it could have been five or six. Tim Krull saving two penalties. Saving a point-blank header from Martial with his face. And another couple of great saves. Krull, man of the match for Norwich, but it made no difference. United today had the performance and the result. One of the best away performances I've seen in a long time from United. We've been so crap away from home. We've just gone and won two on the bounce. Yes, we weren't that good against Partizan, but that was in Belgrade, a 1-0 win away from home in Europe. Take that all day long. And today, we put Norwich to the sword and came away comfortable 3-1 winners. As I said, in United's games, for a long time, I suppose, it's been hard to really find the positives. Today, it's hard to fit all the positives into the match review, really. Fred and McTominay, outstanding in midfield. Rashford, so much better when Martial is on the pitch. He made the difference in attack. But Dan James, again, a wonderful performance. Wan-Bissaka making left, tackles left, right and centre. Over the pitch, there were individual mistakes. Sad for McTominay right at the end to have given that ball away to Hernandez that he made the goal from. But United today were on the money. Our best away performance in a long time. And I said after the Partizan game, not all of you agree with me, but I didn't give a, a toss about the performances at the moment. I just want results. But today, you got the result and you got the performance to match. Because United got that first goal from McTominay. Great finish from him. He was a general in that midfield today. He really has come on so far this season that he's massively bridging a gap that we need because Paul Popper is injured. Imagine what could happen if Popper comes into this team and starts playing like he did at the start of Solskjaer's reign. That's an exciting thought. But United got that first goal and then we got a penalty. Penalties, man. Jesus. Rashford took the penalty. I thought it was strange given that Martial scored one against Partizan. And he missed. But then he made amends almost immediately after when Dan James found him with a wonderful assist. He's looking like such a bargain signing. Not a bargain signing. Sorry, it's the wrong way to describe it. He's looking like a scouting department that can identify talent and bring it in, which is not something I can say about United scouting team for a long, long time. But Dan James, again, he's so influential in this attack. And seeing him, Rashford and Martial all start together, I think we've got to see that in every game from now on, really. Let me know what you think about that. 2-0, we get another penalty. The first one wasn't a penalty. That was harsh on Norwich. The second one definitely was. Martial took it. It's going in, I thought. No! United have had six penalties this season and we missed four of them. That's ridiculous. That's Sunday league standard. And I thought, mm, okay, let's see what happens. And the second half started and United were a little, a little bit on the back foot and Norwich came at us. But that goal that we scored, the third goal, was a moment of sheer quality from a team which hasn't produced that many this season. Great link-up play between Martial and Rashford. Rashford finding him with an audacious back heel that was less audacious than the finish from Martial, the dink over the keeper. Martial is the player of real quality in our attack, and we need him fit this season for anything to happen. And all of a sudden, one win there lifts us from 15th, I think, to 7th. It's early in the season, and... The swings can be massive. But I said, I can feel there's a, a toxic atmosphere around Solskjaer at United at the moment because he's, well, we've had the worst start to 30 years. But that draw against Liverpool and the whole performance, that win against Partizan, not the performance, but the result. And today against Norwich, we got the performance and we got the result. That's a draw against Liverpool, who have won 17 in a row. And now two away wins on the bounce. That's momentum. We've got Chelsea next in the cup. We pumped them at the start of the season, but Chelsea are looking like a different beast altogether right now. It's really working under Lampard. It's going to be a tough game for United. But there was real pressure on Solskjaer for today. Norwich, having conceded 21 goals going into the game, I think United needed to win. And we did. 
and the players put in the team performance that I think a lot of people have been waiting for. We haven't seen enough this season, but this team is better than being 15th. It's not good enough to get anywhere near competing for the Premier League and top four is going to be a struggle. But we're better than 15th, for fuck's sake. Yes, we are. And today, I think we saw it. That was, as I said, an overall excellent team performance. Things that we need to improve on are obvious. Penalties. Good God, the game should have been dead and buried by half-time. Norwich was still in it because we missed our penalties. And that lapse of concentration right at the end reminded me of the lapse of concentration that Young had against Liverpool to give Lallana the equaliser in the 85th minute. We have to stay firm until the end of a game and see these games out with clean sheets because we're not conceding many. But in the last 10 to 15 minutes of a game, if we're under pressure, or even if we're not under pressure like we weren't today against Norwich, United are conceding sloppy goals. But there are so many positives from that game today. My man of the match, I'm probably going for Scott McTominay. Because midfield is such a, a chasm of quality for United. There's such little quality in there that when somebody stands tall and puts in a performance like McTominay did there and got the gold as well, he deserves it. But Fred, say it quietly, had an excellent game. Dan James, an excellent game. Martial... And Rashford, apart from the penalties, played very well together. United were a completely different looking team as a unit today than we have seen in a long time. And that's a hell of a big reason to be positive. As I said, look, that's three games in a row now. One, two wins and a draw against Liverpool. Could have been three wins. We've been shit so far this year. And there are so many reasons to be negative about United. And some of you are calling me foolish for staying too positive about it. But I've seen something there today. Fingers crossed that momentum can go forward. And maybe my obsession with moving away from this 4-2-3-1 isn't the actual problem at all. Because we played 4-2-3-1 there today. And it worked. But I feel like it was more of a 4-3-3 with James, Rashford and Martial all playing together. But so many positives. Three goals. Three points. United looking much better Against a poor Norwich team. But Southampton were poor and we drew, drew against them 1-0. All. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. As always, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. But for me, man of the match, Scott McTominay. What a player he's turning out this season. Let me know what you think in the comments.